In this section, we'll be looking at 3D Markup. I'm going to click on the 3D Markup folder and open up EasyBracket.scDoc. 3D Markup is a great way to demonstrate the changes you've made from one model to another. It compares two versions of the same model. So to start, we'll make a few changes to our design. I'll use Pull to select on two faces and pull them to make this a little bit longer. I'll use move and I'll take these two holes and I'll move them to a new location. I'll move them backwards by 12 millimeters and I'll copy them forward by holding down the control key 20. And let's make a few more changes. I'll double click our rounds, fill them in, and pull our newly copied holes to a different size. Instead of making them 5 millimeters, let's make them 8. Now that I've made a few changes to this design, I'm going to save it as a new version. To do this, we'll go to the Application menu, Save As, and Save As a New Version. What this does, it appends a dot .2 or dot .3 or dot .4 to the end of the title. And now we can compare two versions of the same model. But before we do that, let's make a few more changes. Let's double click to grab all of the side faces and I'll use our draft tool guide to draft this about the top face. And let's draft this out 10 degrees. We'll make another change, and we'll pull this face straight out. Notice I can pull this, and the angle continues to go down. But if I click the Escape key, I can make this go straight out by Control selecting our edges. And we'll pull this out 5 millimeters. Now that I've made these two changes, I'll again save this as a new version. It goes from dot .2 to dot .3. Now that I have multiple versions of the same document, I can create a 3D markup. And to do this, I'll go to our application menu. New 3D markup. This slide deck means I can create several different slides with different versions of my model. I'll make this first slide my title slide. So I'll go to our Detail tab, and I'll add a note. If I click Note or Dimension, it's going to ask me where I'd like to add the note. Whatever face I click on, that's where our annotation plane gets created, and I'll add a note to that face. We'll call this Easy Bracket Comparison. So this will be my title slide. To make a new slide, I can click our New Slide button in the top right, or in our panel, I can right-click and add a new slide. And so now we have our first slide with our title, and we have our second slide. Once we have our second slide, we'll want to compare this version of our model to an earlier version. To do this, I'm going to go to our Insert Group and click on the File button. This will allow me to insert an earlier version of our design. Here, let's insert our original bracket, EasyBracket.scDoc. Notice the two components get placed on top of one another. I like to slide our older version to the left so we can see the differences a little bit easier. Now that we have our two versions, we'll need to mark up some of the differences between them. To do this, we'll go to our Detail tab and add a few dimensions. Clicking on the Dimension button, just like Note, lets us add a dimension somewhere on our design. We'll click on this side face. Now notice as I add dimensions, 
if I click on this edge and add a dimension, it gives me is, was, dimensions. It said it used to be 40 millimeters, and now it's 45. If I click on this angled wall, and the bottom face, says the angle was 90, and now it's 100. Each face is marked with a tag that remembers how the face changed by the versions. Another way to see how the models changed is to go to Color Change Faces. This shows what faces got changed by what color they are. New faces are green, removed faces are red, and translated faces are yellow. If you'd like a full list of what the faces mean, you can hover over Color Change Faces and press the F1 key. And it will display what all the colors mean depending on how the faces change. Let's add one more slide. I'm going to right click and add a new slide. Instead of using Space Claim's default color change face mode, you can also go to display and color faces yourself. If you double click on a face, you can go to color and add a custom color. I'm going to add green to our drafted faces and color our two new holes orange by selecting the holes, going to color, and clicking orange. So you've seen how we can add new slides to mark up the changes we've made to the design. Once you've added these changes, you can go and save this in our Space Claim application menu as a PowerPoint. This directly exports this design to PowerPoint and allows you to further mark it up there. So please go through, make some changes to the model, save it as a new version, create a title slide, use is, was, dimensions, and color change faces, and also manually add color to a few faces.